Welcome everyone, let's customize the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. So let's open up the settings app. If you scroll all the way down, you can see display, wallpaper style, themes, home screen and lock screen. So this is where we customize the most. I'm going to start off with the display area here. You can change light or dark mode. You can change the motion smoothness, whether or not you want 120 hertz or 60 hertz. You have the night shift, which is eye comfort shield, where it will change the display from blue, as you can see here. Turn it on, and it will go orange-like. You can then change the color of the screen, whether it's vivid or natural. And you can also see a before and after. Those options, look at the, uh, the flower. Okay. Then you can change the screen layout and zoom. So if you want the tablet style, where you have stuff on the left and right, you can. Or you have the standard view where it just looks like a big phone. I personally prefer the multi view. And then we have the wallpaper and style. You see my wallpapers. This will show all of your featured wallpapers, okay? So these are wallpapers by Samsung. Downloaded wallpapers are wallpapers you download from the Samsung Themes app. So if you tap on choose more wallpapers, you will see that. You have the color palette. This is the palette where you can see, look, the preview. You can change all the system colors if you'd like. I personally prefer the default. You have the gallery if you want to choose a photo from your gallery. Then we have the themes here. This will bring you to the Galaxy themes. And you can see all of the app icons, all these different app icons, okay? That's what a theme is, just change all the app icons on your device. Some are paid, some are free. You just tap on the one you want to download, download it, and then apply it onto your device. And you have the home screen here so you can change the screen grid home screen grid app screen grid folder grid just tap on it and then just change the options here you can also change whether or not you want to have the app screen which is this screen or just the home screen i personally don't change that but you may want to and then we have the lock screen options always on display you can customize that or tap to show show always which means when you lock the phone you'll always see the always on display you can also set the orientation of the always on display and whether or not auto brightness works with the always on display you can also change the widgets you will see here as well on the lock screen let's go back to the lock screen settings you can also change the notification style whether or not you want an icon only or the full details that is just a security thing and you can also change the shortcuts you have at the bottom left and right as well. Now if we go to the home screen here, one thing to keep in mind is when you drag an app and drop it somewhere else to move, this will not apply on the outside screen, okay? You saw I moved that app, it's not working. So you do need to customize the home screen for the outside screen, then do the inside screen because they don't you know, work with each other, okay? Now something very important to keep in mind, if you do want to add an app from the app drawer, long press, slide up, drag and drop wherever you would like. You can push to the side here, right or left. If you long press in the empty space, you can have the options for wallpaper and style, theme, widgets, which you can add, and then the home screen settings, which I covered earlier. And if I go to the outside screen, slide up, course the exact same will apply here as well add apps you would like to and remove if you slide down from the top once slide down one more time you're going to see the control center here these toggles can be customized by tapping on the plus find the one you want from here drag drop boom of course you can move these around as well if you want to remove something let's say i don't want but, 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 but link to windows Long press and then drag in the available buttons area to remove. If you want to reset what you've done, just tap on the reset like so. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.